Because for the emerging generation, for these new generations, they can't remember a world prior to Uber. And because they can't remember a world prior to Uber, to them, Uber is not an invention, it's not an innovation. It's standard. It's where their expectations start. Another example is I have two young children at home. Again, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. I have two young children under the age of three. My two kids will never know a world where they can't tab, tap a slab of glass and order pretty much any product they can think of and have it delivered to their front door within an hour via a drone. They will never know a world where that doesn't exist. And because they don't know a world where that doesn't exist, that fundamentally reshapes how they expect goods and services to be delivered to them. They're going to show up inside your workplaces a much different being with different expectations, different behaviors, no fault of their own. It's just because they're a new generation and they have new thinking. They have new expectations. And that's true of all of us. No matter your generation, if you can't remember what it was like before an invention, to you it's not an invention. It's standard. It's normal. And that's where your expectations start. And that doesn't make you entitled. That makes you a new generation with new thinking in a new reality. So the better we understand this emerging generation, the better we understand this new reality, the better we can get ahead of the curve and pivot so that we can thrive in the 21st century. So let me give you a couple examples of how millennials, how, how it's going to play out in the real world, how their elevated expectations are coming, going to come into play. So they're going to find themselves waiting in line at a grocery, grocery store somewhere, and they're going to think, this is a terrible experience, because I know Amazon Go has stores where I can walk into that store, grab anything in that store, and walk right out. There's no cashiers, there's no lines, it's walkout technology. Or they're going to find themselves in a training room, or they're going to find themselves consuming training and wonder, why is this so long? Or why is this so clunky and cumbersome? Because I grew up with YouTube, and I could go on there and learn anything I wanted on my mobile device, 24-7, on demand, and oh, by the way, I could hit the little gear button and fast forward the video so I could consume the information twice as fast. Or they're going to think, they're going to stand in line at a, at, a, at a hotel, and they're going to think, why do I have to stand in line at a hotel when I came from a Marriott where I was able to download the, the, the key to my room in advance? I could go right to my room, tap my phone, and get right in. And I could do all of my communication with the front desk in the hotel through the, the mobile application. Effortless, easy, effortless, seamless. Or finally, why should I stay at your company? Why should I stay in this industry when I can go to Glassdoor.com and see all the other companies that are better fits for me, that offer better salaries, that have better ratings and reviews on Glassdoor.com? Just a quick side note, if you're not familiar with Glassdoor.com, familiarize yourself with it. A majority of the next generation that's going to come into your workplaces are going onto Glassdoor first before they ever send you an application or pick up a phone or, or text or send you an email to work for your organization. We're seeing now now more organizations that are religiously monitoring and keeping up their employer brands through Glassdoor.com. It's a priority, and if you're not doing it, you're behind. So all of these are good examples of how the next generation has elevated expectations. So yes, millennials are demanding a lot of change. They are. But the bigger picture here that we all have to understand is the exponential times that we all live in, that is forcing us to change. So that, my friends, is the bigger story.